ASL presents Gosu Pizza. And this is almost the main event, but the semifinal event. And he's going to be our pink Protoss player. And over in the green Protossiness, uh, we're going to have the Mad Hatter. You have two people in this tournament whose name starts with the. <laughs> Wait, what was the other one? The what was uh, it? the something who would have uh, yes. uh, fox. <laughs> what was it? The, um, you, I don't know. You liked it so much too. <laughs> the, the ray dog. Is that the what ray it was? Dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The ray I'm dog. watching the timing, so I'm keeping that production tab up and watching these two protests to see where there's a deviation. Yeah, that's always the thing. And just those one second, they're literally within the same second right now. Yeah. So that will obviously vary right. at some point. And they both uh, chrono at the yeah, same time. Yeah, even chronos are identical. Um, I like it. I like it. Yeah. And no cutting for an early gateway. So um, I thought that in one run. So it's not going to be like a proxy star gate, I don't think. Okay, well, there goes our first gateway. So it has a seven-second differential in, <laughs> yeah, in, the, in the gateway count. Yeah. If, so. uh, if this was a uh, Grand Masters game, that, we'd probably have an actual conversation about that seven seconds. Yeah, for game. sure. <laughs> like, oh, my God, he's lost already. <laughs> yep, it's game. Might as well GG. Yeah. But uh, earlier gas coming out here for the Mad Hatter and Xe, both gas uh, coming out earlier, and the double coming for main event just a few seconds later so i think the biggest tell in um that you see at a protest early is whether two gases are filled with three probes each or two probes each. yes absolutely three and means some sort it. of tech play and yeah. two means a lot of different yeah, more two is two's very flexible it's hard to nail somebody down on that two two there yeah okay yeah so and... yeah we do get two two from main event and we got two <laughs> Two, three from Mad Hatter. <laughs> he wants to not, throw us off. <laughs> that's not even a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what to say there. But uh, just slightly more gas than normal. <laughs> just, a, just a wee bit. Yeah, so we'll see if he adjusts that at some point or whether that is, in fact, what he wants to be doing. Well, what's the APM for these guys? We got 140 for main event, yep. 80 for the Mad Hatter. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's probably the closest gap we've seen. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> and for for protosis that makes sense. Uh that there may be <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, stuff. okay. So we do got the twilight going over here. Yeah, and no Quick path tech. no tech path at all no, chosen. No, 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 instead tyler, getting the uh earlier changed. mothership core out um oh, from yeah. an event. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely don't mind seeing a mothership for us. Yeah, you need uh, in PvP. It's almost always the first unit I make, and it <laughs> yes. is the first unit that's available for uh, I'm main event. There. What everything has changed? You just want that early energy. It can shut things down, <laughs> and having it be that early. If this is a uh, a blink aggression play, then it mm -hmm. can just shut that down. Uh, and there's the DTs. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be this game. <laughs> so it's not, so not going to be Blink. Um, so now the real question is, is there go and there is a Robo on its that, way. So there's a small chance of hope. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to scout that Dark Shrine before no, a DT uh, actually slaps him yeah, in the face. Mothership Core is coming across the map, but yeah, to get in that position behind the mineral line, I don't know. Not with two stalkers out where they're at. Uh, yeah. But he will throw his own stalker up there. See that there's two. Actually takes uh, eh, three, point, no. three points of hull damage. There's no problem with that. Yeah, I really um, but he, he basically just shoot away the stalker said, I don't want you to see my dark shrine, but I'm not going to chase you. Yeah. Is yeah, there a so forward eight. pylon? Yes, there is. Okay, so forward right. pylon is up, but an observer is also coming out. The observer will be out before the dark shrine is complete. Very nice, very nice. Uh, and no expansion coming for the Mad Hatter just yet. So if he catches it, if this, the the one minor concern is that there's not really that many units for main event. So if two DTs come in, and it looks like it will just be one, so I think it'll be fine. But if two DTs came in, they could actually kill both those things. Uh, this will come up here now. 
get spotted immediately and just get get wiped out. All right, so now he knows observers are on the map. I guarantee you he wasn't happy about that. Oh, yeah. it was the second DT. Yeah, second DT going off to the Nexus. Yeah. It'll try and run away, and you'll probably see some transition into Archon. Yeah. Solid uh, Archon, maybe? Yeah. Um, okay, so Natural's going down for both players now at the 7.5-minute mark. Hmm. Yeah, that, that really probably messed up Mad Hatter's plan there. Yeah, it's, it's amazing yeah. how much one observer can cause problems, huh? Yeah, you make invisible units so that they don't see them. <laughs> yeah. you, it's not helpful if they Yeah, the them. moment they can see them, you wasted all your invisible money. Yep. It's not good. But, uh, but they can often... So many games I've seen where like the early DTs just get shut down, and then somehow, like 18 minutes into the game, someone forgot... <laughs> That there's like still a dark shrine that exists, and then <laughs> three DTs come in and destroy an Nexus or just something like that, where they kind of stop defending. And we do get the first Archon morphing in, so we'll get the transition into that style of play. But he's still making a couple, couple stalkers with that too. Yeah, there's no detection now. He is dropping. Mad Hatter's dropping his own robotics bay. I was gonna say otherwise, this observer here is just free scouting away. Yeah. Yeah, you want to get that out. One of the biggest threats to failed DT play is counter DT play because you just invest in all this tech. You don't want to change it. You don't yeah. want to make a robo bay. So very often your opponent will exploit that by making their own DT shrine. Well, you get the Archons coming in, but he's aware of that. Yeah, we got extended thermal ants on the way. Looks like it's going to be Colossus. Yep. That, that would be good if he does end up going Zealot Archon. And work mm -hmm. on those uh, zealots pretty easy. Yeah. So. Yeah, for just... sure. Now, archons can walk over force fields, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they break them. They are okay, a massive so unit. Those sentries are not going to have that much usefulness. Hallucination, of course, but he doesn't really need it because that observer didn't even get detected. Yeah, the crusader went. Uh, yeah, right. You know? Yeah, I'd say if you're going to hallucinate with those, I mean, you can hallucinate decoys in a fight, which. Yeah, sometimes that comes in handy. Yeah, particularly if it's zealots, it can be really confusing to the yeah, zealots <laughs> if they yeah. just end up attacking um, so random yeah, crap. <laughs> I, I've won games where I had like eight sentries and I just hallucinated a whole bunch of colossus and took them in, and yeah. they quit. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it happens. Although one of my favorite, it doesn't work as much anymore because right. maybe Zergs aren't stupid, but I, I used to love doing a, there were all these sentry all-ins that people used to handle with force fields. Yeah, I found if I made a bunch of sentries and instead of making force fields, I actually hallucinated a bunch of archons. If they had detection, it was actually worse for them. Because Why they wouldn't, they wouldn't attack the Aircons, but they also couldn't get by them. Ah, nice. So you would have this army raining down on them, and they kept trying to walk around these Aircons that were just barreling down on them. Oh my God, that's funny. Yeah, I like and that. And they don't, they don't expire like force fields do. So yeah, it, it was fun. <laughs> All right, what do you think here about the compositions we're about to have? Um, I I favor main events. Yeah, I, I'm totally Two Colossus with you in this situation. One, one immortal, which is actually quite good against Archons, even though they don't get a bonus. It's actually good at picking them down. Uh, Mad Hatter really should actually um, attack on the ramp. Yeah, yeah. But he's going to get himself stuck on the ramp. Yeah, if his zealots don't have surface area, yeah, yeah, yeah. this sucks. But I mean, there's so many zealots for a main event too. These yeah, see, he just walked in. Anything. That one of the archons isn't even attacking. No photon overcharge gone either. So main event, I think, is oh, just going to walk over. Yeah, there it is now. But the army's army's yeah, gone. Yeah, and he's warping in more units. Yeah, army's gone. Third colossus coming. He can just kill that nexus. Army doesn't. supply is seventy-three to four. Yeah, doesn't doesn't matter. Wow. At this point, and uh, so he does tap out there. <laughs> 